Channel 8 sports reporter Ian Hess now joins us live in the newsroom with more on some Huskers that are heading home. Thanks a lot, Matt. There are plenty of high school powerhouses throughout the country. Cardinal Mooney High School in Youngstown, Ohio is one of those. It's just a two and a half hour drive up the road from where the guys are in Columbus, and it's the home to half a dozen Huskers. <laughs> They say this field creates character, built under the lights, in front of friends and family, a bond formed between brothers, not from blood, but from sweat. A battlefield, 300 feet long, 53 feet wide. They say this town, Youngstown, Ohio, creates men, grown out of steel mills, rust on their boots. There's a school here, Cardinal Mooney High, where men play and win championships. And six Cardinal men have made their way to the good life. It shaped who I became. The work you put into it taught you a lot of core values of life about hard work and unselfishness and discipline and toughness and, and the things that became a, a big part of who I've become. I have a lot of great memories from growing up where I grew up and playing at Mooney and, and uh, I mean, that's a, that was a great time. The Cardinal Mooney Six, Tim Beck, Bo Pelini, Vince Morrow, Tim Marlowe, Braylon Hurd, and Mark Pelini. Decades apart in age, but much closer in pride. If you ask people where they're from, and you'll hear people say, I'm from Arizona, or I'm from Cali, or I'm from Boo. When you ask somebody from Youngstown, they say they're from Youngstown. They don't say they're from Ohio, they say they're from Youngstown. The high school has won seven state championships, and each one of these men lays claim to at least one. From Beck leading the 1982 Cardinals while Pelini was just a freshman, to Tim Marlowe's in 2006, to 2009, when Braylon Hurd and Mark Pelini led the first ever 15-0 team. We knew we were going to win it our senior year. We were expecting them to come, you know, and play. But uh, we just came out and we dominated them, you know. Bird was a star in that game. 178 yards rushing, three touchdowns, and an interception for good measure. But he's not the only Cardinal star through the ages. The Cards scored on their next possession, too. Pelini running in from 12 yards out. In 1985, a senior named Mark Bo Pelini led what many in the area consider the best Mooney team not to win a title. They finished 8-1 in the regular season, the only loss coming in double overtime. He breezed through the first two rounds of the playoffs, outscoring opponents 92 to nothing. A squeaker in the semifinals left a matchup against Galleon High School in Ohio Stadium. Mooney lost six to nothing. Even when he was 17, he was a guy that, you know, loved to compete, wore his emotion on his sleeves. I mean, he was a very, very tough guy. But Bo's not the only one to experience heartache. The 2007 Cardinals were led by another senior, wide receiver Tim Marlowe, who moved to quarterback for the title game. He ran for more than 100 yards, threw for 135, scoring twice, and leading Mooney on a fourth quarter drive to make it 27-28 before the extra point. Marlowe was the holder. It was rough, you know, uh, every time you, you, you mentioned it to the guys, you know, it's just like, man, we lost over a block kick. Through the pain and the triumph, these men share a special bond. Memories, sometimes from 30 years ago, that feel like they were just yesterday. And debates, even to this day, on whose team was best. I remember we had a really, really good football team. Oh, by far, Bo and us. They're all full of it. It was the 09 class was definitely the best. Best team to ever walk the halls in the movie. It's created a pipeline to Nebraska, a second city for the Huskers. And it's allowed these six to feel at home when home is a thousand miles away. Just playing for Mooney is, is, is more than a state championship ring. It's what you represent in that region of that town. It's a small town, a blue collar town where a lot of good people and, and we just love and embrace the tradition there. And that's what means more to me. And I think Bo would say the same thing and Timmy. It's more about the school and the community. 
Now the pipeline will keep going strong. Already two more Mooney kids are signed for the Huskers next recruiting class. Courtney Love and Marcus McWilson. Just more one more note you heard earlier in the show. Bo Pelini more than just a one sport athlete. He was the first guy in the history of the school to score a thousand points in basketball.